Okay, we're looking at how to differentiate more complicated functions like y equals 3x squared plus 5 cubed. So I'm going to do this the long way, then we'll look at a shorter way of doing it. So 3x squared plus 5 cubed, the binomial coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. It's 3x squared cubed, 3x squared squared, it's 3x squared and then we need 5 to the power 3, that's 125. 5 to the power 2, that's 25. 5 to the power 1, 5 to the power 0. So the full expansion is uh, 3x squared cubed. Well, 3 cubed is 27. So that's 27x to the power 6. We've got uh, 5 times 3, that's 15. 15 times 3 squared, 15 times 9, that's um, 135. So it's 135x to the power 4. And then we have uh, 25 times 3 times 3, so 9 times 25, uh, that's 225x squared, and 1 times 125. So now we can differentiate. This was all about differentiating. So let's try and write a d. There we go, dy by dx. So 6 times 27, that's 162x to the power 5. 135 times 4, that's 540x to the power 3. 225 times 2, that's 450x, and then 125 differentiates to 0. Now we're looking for patterns to make this whole task a little bit easier. Um, so we can develop this a little bit further. Clearly uh, x is a factor. And also 18 goes into all these numbers. 18 goes into 162, 540 and 450. So 18x is a factor. How many 18s in 162? That's 9. Uh, so that's 9x to the power 4. How many 18s in 540? That's 30. So that's 30x squared. Remember we've taken x out as a factor. Then 18s into 450 is 25. Now this... 9x fourth plus 30x squared plus 25 is uh, can be factorised. It's actually 3x squared plus 5 times 3x squared plus 5. Let's just check that. 3 times 3 is 9, and that's obviously x to the power of 4. 5 times 5 is 25. Then if you do 5 times 3, that's 15x squared, plus another 15x squared, so that's 30x squared. So uh, starting your slide, uh, there we go, so it's 18x and then it's 3x squared plus 5 all squared. Now what was the, so this is dy by dx, so what was the original expression? The original expression was y equals 3x squared plus 5 to the power 3. Now notice that we've got 3x squared plus 5 to the power 3, when we differentiate it we've got 3x squared plus 5 to the power 2. But where does that 18x come from? Well, normally if you differentiate, the power comes down and gets multiplied in front. So you would think that if y is 3x squared plus 5 cubed, you would think that dy by dx would be 3 lots of 3x squared plus 5 squared. You'd think that the number comes down in front of the bracket and the power of the bracket gets reduced by 1. But it's not, look, that's 18x and that's 3x. So, so altogether there's a factor of 6x. 3 times uh, three times 6x. There we go. 3 times 6x is 18x. Where does 6x come from? 6x comes from differentiating what's inside the bracket. So 6x comes from differentiating 3x squared plus 5. In other words, let's do a different question. If y was 3x squared plus 17x to the power 11, dy by dx would be 11 lots of 3x squared plus 17x to the power 10. So the number power there comes down in front and reduces by 1. And then you multiply by 6x plus 17, because 6x plus 17 is the derivative of the contents of the bracket. In other words, differentiate the bracket, 3x squared plus 17x becomes 6x plus 17. So this rule is obviously much quicker than what we did uh, on the previous slide.
All right, so how should you be differentiating expressions like this? The simplest way of doing this is to use the chain rule. We've got an example here, and what we're trying to find is what dy by dx is. And the simplest way of doing this is to introduce a new variable, which is often called u. Here's dy by dx, dy by dx. I'm going to put du in here, the same thing there as it is there. So this is du. The du's, in a sense, cancel out. That's the beauty of this notation introduced by Leibniz. So because of the du's, they cancel out, we're left with dy by dx. So what is u? Well, u is normally the bit that's inside the brackets. So there's u. So let's work out what du by dx is. du by dx. Uh, differentiate, that's 15x squared minus 2. So that's what u is. What's y? Well, y is u to the power 6. Just check you understand that. If u is this, that's that bit there, then y is that bit there to the power 6. So if y is u to the power 6, dy by du is 6u to the power 5. So therefore, dy by dx is dy by du. I'm going back to this bit here. It's dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So that's 6u to the power 5 multiplied by 15x squared minus 2. Now I introduced the u, so I can't leave it in terms of u. So the final bit is to write out dy by dx is 6u. What's u? It's 5x cubed minus 2x. It's the bit that's uh, inside the bracket. So it's 6 times that bracket, 5x cubed minus 2x to the power 5, multiplied by 15x squared minus 2. And that's the quicker way of differentiating an expression like this. An expression like this, we wouldn't want to multiply it out to the power 6 and differentiate each bit separately. It would take you a long time. This is a much quicker method to go from here to here.